welcome to my latest WR250R video. It's a beautiful day out here in Texas and uh, Longhorns are browsing along the road. Love to make a nice stop to uh, talk about the latest additions to the bike. So I haven't done a video on this bike in a while. Made some changes to it recently. Um, I'd like to talk about those briefly. So the first thing I did is I put in a Power Commander 5. I put in a full FMF exhaust with a Q4 muffler. Um, it made a significant difference in the power. So it, basically the entire power band, low to high, there's better, better throttle response, more power. It's, it's particularly noticeable kind of in the low to mid range. A nice addition to the bike. It makes the bike much more at highway speeds as well as a nice little uh, additional power bump for mid and low speed. I also added the Parabellum Rally Shield. That's That makes a huge difference for 60 plus mile an hour stints. It's 70, 75 mile an hour now, it takes all the wind off your chest, your your head is up in the breeze, but all the load from the wind on your chest is gone, so that was highly recommended if you do any kind of long distance or half an hour plus stints on tarmac trying to get where you're going. Some of the other recent changes, I don't know if I talked about this or not, the one thing I really did not like about this bike is the clutch is really heavy. Um, I got basically a stunt clutch lever off of eBay, I believe, billet aluminum. It works extremely well. It's surprising for, I think these are 30, 35 bucks. Well worth it. Easily two finger pull now on the clutch. Um, just, it's, just makes the bike much more usable. You can shift this bike without using the clutch. Actually, the transmission shifts extremely easy without clutching it, but all day after trail riding with the original uh, clutch lever, my arm was pretty shot, so this really helps. Um, another thing I've done, I've, I took off all the wiring that the original owner did and simplified it, and basically replaced it with, this is a meter as well as a, as a USB outlet. I wired that directly to the battery, it has a built-in switch, so this you can use basically when the bike is powered off to charge any USB type device and it also gives you a voltmeter which is something nice to have. I also found this Rome phone mount, I just mounted it right to the bar, they're, they're like $12 again on Amazon and with this elast the elastic piece it basically prevents the phone or whatever you put in there from falling out, so it's it's very secure once you put the phone in there or your GPS in there. And I'm sure you've noticed as well the double take mirrors. Those were a nice change as well from the stock mirror system. Make you can adjust them, fold them away, do whatever you want. Um, other than that, so I, I had the bike for about 5,000 miles. I've put on this bike still on the tires that the original owner had on there. The Dunlop D505 and uh, Pirelli MT21, really good combo. Um, they're just about to the place where I need to replace them. I'm getting worn out. And I'm gonna go ahead and replace them with the uh, Shinko 244s. Those are fairly inexpensive. Um, they're a bit more road-oriented tire, but apparently they're, they claim to be work. Or statements is it works very well like dirt road maybe not for serious trail riding but for the stuff that's available for me here in Texas I think it's gonna work really well and maybe last a bit longer than the current combo and that's it hope you enjoyed the video and the great Texas scenery here near Llano Texas